Yo, what is going on boys? It is Maze and I'm back with another YouTube video today. Hope you guys are doing good and today we are back with another Get A Player Pack opening because, you know, we just wanted to do something that has been a while since I have done one of these and uh, usually we make a decent amount of coins on these so I'm going to show you guys what sets I've been doing to make coins on these and how you can actually make your coins off of them in general. But before we get started on this video, make sure to drop a sub down below on the channel for the best coin making methods and mutt tips in Madden 21 and for a ton, ton, ton of content in Madden 22. You're going to want to be around for it. Lastly, let's try and hit at least 20 likes on this video make sure to drop a like down below i really do appreciate it i haven't posted in a little bit i apologize for that i have been super super busy i've been trying to make some extra money on the side before anything and uh you know it is what it is we're kind of back and i'm still going to be posting videos all the way up to Madden 22 but Madden 22 comes out it's going to be super super grind almost like two to three videos a day and a live stream almost every single night so i'm really excited for that hopefully you guys are too but let's just get right into it so the get a player packs you guys already know how this really goes um i'm also going to be doing a fan appreciation pack opening but probably on my tiktok if you guys want to go follow me on my tiktok i do post stuff on there almost daily as well so make sure to go check that out for other coin making methods extra ones that don't really take as long um but let's just get hop right into this i'm going to be opening up 50 of these get a player packs and we're going to see how many coins we make overall so that is about 25k worth of these get a player packs I'm gonna add up all of the cards prices afterwards and I'm gonna tell you how many coins we made all right so let's get right into it also I'm not gonna be showing you guys every single card that I pull I have mentioned this in other gap videos but I do want to mention again I'm not gonna be showing you guys every single pack I pull because that would be very very boring so I'm only gonna be showing you guys the actual pretty decent pulls that we get or maybe some cards that do go for a little bit some updates halfway through stuff like that and like I said we'll go over it I'm gonna show you guys how to actually make a lot of coins off of these packs we actually get an 84 overall Barkevious Mingo tight end we'll take it hey that's an elite that's only a few packs in as well here we get another elite as well just in a couple packs later and we get an 80 overall overall juju will take it team of the week player hopefully can be good in 82 overall darren waller we're getting some decent elites out of these already so far let's get it then we get an 83 overall freeze player as well and 83 cody white here not too bad and then right after that last pack we get an 86 overall jack youngblood so far this has been really good i think we have about 15,000 coins left in these get a player packs so only about 10,000 coins in and we're already making back most of our coins if not all of them obviously we're making profit you guys already know how good these get a player packs are um it may be a very slow process but it's easy it's fun to do because you're opening a lot of packs for very low risk and uh, then you can throw some sets you know make some sets afterwards and make a lot of coins but yeah we'll get into that later but we're still pulling these I'm going down to 38k so 1.3 mil and then 38k uh, that is the ending point and then I'll show you guys all the stuff we pulled we get a campus hero player here now we get an 82 overall Jonathan Vilma finally we get another lead an 81 overall Darren Fells the last few packs haven't been too hot but we are on our last couple packs Hopefully we can maybe get lucky and pull an elite in this last pack coming up. Please, come on. Just one elite. Just one war elite and we end up getting a gold. So let's go over to the actual item binder real quick. And I'm going to add up all of the prices to all of these cards. And I actually want to see how many coins we ended up making. So let's go through them real quick. And you'll see that these are all the cards we pulled. You know, a few elites, few golds, a lot of golds, if anything. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. And I'll uh, show you guys after. So I just added up all the prices of the cards. Some of them were a little bit more expensive than I expected to. Like some of these golds are a little bit more expensive. But after tax, we actually made 68,000 coins. So now if we subtract 25K from that, we ended up making a little bit over uh, or a little bit under 45,000 coins so we'll definitely take that just about 40 50k right there maybe if some of these sell for a little bit more a little bit less not too sure but still not bad that is straight profit pretty much in about five ten minutes so that is just if we went and sell or sold off every single one of those cards of course but then you can always head into the team builders i've shown you guys these a bunch of times these team builders will definitely make you a lot of coins just hop on myhead.com look up some of these players and you'll actually make a lot more coins off of that if you end up putting them into these sets some of these cards go for a lot of coins you can end up maybe making like a 95 or you know you can maybe get lucky make like a 91 or so and some of those 91s go for like almost 50 to 100k which is a lot more than a regular 91 of course as we do know also sets like the exchange sets you guys already know about these but hey i'll show you guys these again because these exchange sets are always going to be really good any of these cards you're trying to make to elites or you know say you have a lot of golds because you're going to end up getting a lot of golds and silvers and stuff from these make sure you're throwing them to these exchange sets as well just to kind of maximize your profits lastly the team of the week exchange is still very very good week one and week two go all the way down and then you can actually exchange some of those um 
higher gold players into these to maybe get you know potentially some elites in these team of the week cards and then you can actually throw some of those team of the week players into certain team master sets if you really want to as well or uh it's like team builders team standout oh, it's the team standouts you can actually throw them into and try those out to actually make a lot more coins as well but those are pretty much all the sets that i know of that are really really good you can also do some of the 50 if you want but some of the 50 aren't really too worth it anymore so i wouldn't really guarantee that you can make a lot of coins off of those but hey i mean if you want to you can full send anything you want but those are all the sets that i really know of to make a lot of coins but it's pretty much gonna be it for today's video we made about 40k 45k 50k ish in about like 5 10 minutes honestly it doesn't take too long to do this it might take some time for the cars to sell off but you know the, the coins are already in your binder right now i just gotta do something with it but that's pretty much gonna be it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed i really do appreciate you guys watching i'll be i will be having more content more in the future um and yeah stuff like that but i love you guys hope you guys have a good one i'll see you on the next one and peace